Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo and Exercise Series. In this exercise, we'll help you understand the big IP Advanced Web Security Policy Learning Process for file types and parameters, how parameter attributes are updated during the staging process, and how parameter enforcement affects malicious requests. This is an exercise, which represents Demo 14, of the AWEF Demo Series and it's intended for intermediate level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used for sending requests to build the security policy. These requests will arrive at the F5 big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the backend web server. Through this process, Big IP Advanced WEF can begin creating a web application security policy. We'll start by taking a look at the virtual server we'll be protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. We'll create a big IP advanced WEF security policy to protect the virtual server. We'll give the policy a name. Select the template type, which for this policy we'll leave set to fundamental and select the virtual server we're protecting. In addition, we'll specify the web application language. Finally, we'll change the policy builder learning speed to fast. This will increase the time to build the security policy from untrusted requests. We'll now configure some additional security policy settings using the Learning and Blocking Settings page. We'll expand the File Types section and change the Learn New File Types option to Always. We'll then expand the Parameters section and we'll also change the Learn New Parameters option to Always. We'll also select the Learn alarm, and block checkboxes for all parameter violations. And finally, we'll select this option, which ensures that Big IP Advanced WEF will configure each parameter according to the data input by users. We'll then save, and apply the policy. It's important to remember to save the policy after any modifications. We'll now examine the Big IP Advanced WEF Traffic Learning page. Currently, there are no learning suggestions. We'll now access the web application to generate user requests. We'll simply access pages, such as this PHP page this HTML page. And this PDF page, which submit requests through Big IP Advanced WEF to the web application. We'll now reload the traffic learning page. There are now learning suggestions for file types and parameters. Let's select the file type suggestion for the PHP file type. Note that the action is, add file type. This is the action that will take place if we click the accept button. We can use this option to display all suggestions of this type. This filters this list of suggestions to just file types. We will now add these file types to the security policy. We'll use the Select All checkbox. With all suggestions selected, we'll use the Accept button to accept these all as legal file types. Notice that all suggestions are removed from the list. 
Let's examine the allowed file types page. We have in AE's Big IP Advanced Web to learn which file types are needed for this web application, and have added them to the whitelist of allowed file types. Next, let's create, and then accept, learning suggestions for more parameters. We'll use the web application again, this time using a couple input fields. These are also known as parameters. We'll return to the traffic learning page. There are now several learning suggestions for parameters. Let's select the parameter suggestion for the username parameter. Notice that the action is to add this parameter to the security policy. Let's select all parameter suggestions. And then accept these suggestions into the security policy. We'll now examine the parameter list page. We have now used Big IP Advanced Web to learn which parameters are needed for this web application, and have added them to the allowed parameters whitelist. Next, we'll create, and then accept, attribute suggestions for a specific parameter. We'll input a value into this one parameter. We'll return to the traffic learning page. There is now a class of five parameter value type suggestion for the name parameter. Let's select it. And then view the action. The action is to set the parameter value type to a user input value. And to set the data type to alphanumeric. We'll accept this suggestion and then apply the policy. We'll import the same value into the parameter. On the traffic learning page, there is now an illegal parameter value length suggestion. The action is to set the maximum length for this parameter to 15 characters. We'll accept this suggestion. And then apply the policy. Next, we'll import a longer value, with a couple of special characters. There are a few new suggestions for the name parameter. The action for this suggestion is to set the maximum length of this parameter to 35 characters. We'll accept this suggestion. As we did earlier, we can select multiple suggestions at once. These suggestions will add the left and right bracket characters as allowed meta characters for this parameter. We'll accept both suggestions. We'll now import a text string longer than 35 characters, and including a semicolon, into the field. There is now a suggestion to increase the maximum length to 100 characters, in addition to a suggestion to add the semicolon to the allowed meta characters list. We'll accept both suggestions, and then apply the policy. Let's open the parameter list page, and select the name parameter. Notice that the options we accepted are now configured for this parameter, such as the parameter value type being user input value, and the maximum length being set to 100. On the value meta character page, we can see the three keyboard characters we accepted earlier.
Next, we'll create, but then reject, attribute suggestions for the name parameter. We'll import a text string much longer than 100 characters. We'll return to the traffic learning page. There is a new suggestion to increase the maximum length to 5000 characters. We do not want to accept this suggestion. So we'll click delete. Let's submit the long text string again. And then reload the traffic learning page again. The suggestion to increase the maximum length to 5000 characters is again added as a new suggestion. This time we'll click ignore. We'll resubmit the long request again. And reload the traffic learning page again. There is no longer a suggestion to increase the length of the name parameter. When you delete a suggestion, it may be added to the suggestion list again. However, when you ignore a suggestion, it will never again be added to the suggestion list. We can use the open filter button and select to view ignored items only. We could now, if necessary, select this suggestion and either delete it or accept it. In the last part of this demo, we'll enforce the name parameter and also enforce some attack signatures. Once again, we'll select the name parameter and then open the attack signatures page. Let's search for XSS script. Notice that Big IP Advanced WEF is already checking for the XSS cross-site scripting attack signature for this parameter. We'll now submit a cross-site scripting attack string that redirects users to a different web page. And the long text string. We'll reload the traffic learning page. and then examine the Enforcement Readiness Summary section. Notice that there are three signatures that are not enforced, but have suggestions. We'll select this, which navigates us to the Attack Signatures page with these three signatures listed. These attack signatures need to be enforced to block requests that match the signatures. We'll select all signatures, and then select to enforce them. We'll then return to the parameters list page. We'll select the name parameter and then enforce it. We'll now attempt to insert the very long text string. The request is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. We'll now insert some text, which includes the pipe keyboard character. This request is blocked, because the pipe character is not on the allowed meta characters list for this security policy. Let's try the attack signature string. This request is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Finally, let's try to insert the attack signature string into another parameter. This malicious request is allowed, 
because the parameter on this web page isn't yet enforced in the security policy. Thank you for watching this exercise on the F5 Big IP Advanced WEF file type and parameter learning process, updating parameter attributes during the staging process, and how parameter enforcement affects malicious requests. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos and exercises, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network's sales account manager. For questions or comments about this video, Contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.